This is the hardware setup screen of the software. The first option here is printers option. Uh, this is where you select what kind of a printer you will be using for this system. The first option is a receipt printer. There's those uh, small format printers that work on a paper roll, usually about three inches wide. Then you have a choice of uh, invoice or form printer, which is the larger printers um, usually known as eight and a half by 11 inches format, uh, which are for home and office use, the regular print, everyday printers, or as they're known internationally uh, as A4 format printers. And then if you don't have a printer or don't wanna uh, print receipts or invoices, then you would use the third option, which is no printer to turn off printing. Uh, what's also interesting is uh, we commonly get questions about uh, do we have an option to not print invoices unless uh, you change your mind to, unless on certain occasions and sp specific uh, circumstances you choose to print uh, the certain invoice uh, for the sale that you just did, then uh, you would still use no printer option to turn off printing and as you sell, when you decide that you want to print that invoice that you just sold, you would do the F3, as you can see in here, the option F3, print last invoice on the main screen. For now, we'll just select receipt printer in here. The next option is barcode format. Uh, this is pretty much to tell the system what is the maximum amount of characters you'll be using in your UPC codes or barcodes uh, if you're scanning with a barcode scanner. That's the only uh, time this is relevant. Um, for example, the most common barcode uh, codes are 12 digit ones or 12 character ones. However, um, there are some formats that require more like uh, barcodes for books, like that ISBN number is 13 digits. So in here you simply select uh, that setting. Uh, the next option is selecting printers for each uh, particular task for each printing task. Uh, first option here is what printer will you be using as a receipt or invoice printer. Let's say we'll just go with a uh, receipt printer, one of those uh, with a paper roll that has about a three inch uh, width of the page. Uh, the second uh, selection is for a reports printer. Let's say we'll just use a normal printer for, uh, for a reports printer and then a barcode printer we'll just use the same uh, general office printer HP LaserJet in here the next option is cash drawer and receipt printer settings uh, if you use a cash drawer with this software you want to select in here to use a cash drawer so that our software can uh, open that cash drawer automatically if you don't have a cash drawer you don't use it of course you'll select no cash drawer however if you're using a cash drawer there's a few things you have to set up uh, we will assume that your cash drawer is properly connected to the receipt printer because the receipt printer is the device that drives the opening of that cash drawer you will need to tell our software what which printer which receipt printer your cash drawer is connected to we do that in this drop down menu let's say we'll select the receipt printer again in here which hypothetically our cash drawer is connected to and then you would look up in your receipt printer's technical manual what is the command that that receipt printer uses in order to open cash drawers uh, if you can't find this in your technical manual we suggest that you call the technical support for that printer and find out that code that could be uh, a hexadecimal or a decimal code is what they're known uh, as. We'll just enter our code in here for our citizen printer. The next option is pole display settings. Um, if you're using a pole display uh, in your business, then you would need to just select the port that this pole display is connected to. This will uh, be a COM port usually, uh, the serial ports, COM1, COM2, 3 or 4, or it could be a USB uh, USB port that emulates the COM port. So you just drop in this drop down menu if you have a, 
such a device connected to your computer you will have those choices in here and you certainly need to select the correct port that this uh, pole display is connected to and then just uh, select the maximum characters displayed per line on this uh, pole display uh, obviously some of them have different capabilities different um, amount of maximum characters per line the next option is weight scale settings if you want to use a weight scale in your business all you need to do is connect it to the computer install the drivers for it of course and uh, select the character uh, the com port in here it's either going to be com one two three or four any of those serial ports and uh, the final option here is tmax uh, bed timer settings if you want to integrate a tmax bed timer uh, for uh, the tanning beds um, of course it's got to be connected to your computer through a proper interface and the drivers for it need to be installed in your computer and for our program you just need to select the proper port for it once you're done selecting these options all you need to do is click submit changes for the changes to be saved into the database and uh, after that you will get this um, message in here that will say that the data has been updated successfully and the software will just need to restart in order for the changes to take effect. So as soon as you click OK in here, the program will just restart itself.